Today I have a lot of interesting news and updates about Tesla Giga Berlin. The most important thing is that it looks like the Giga Press in Giga Berlin is already inserted a press mold tool which means it can be very close to uh, test production, test casting. Also we're learning that there is a new water technology at Giga Berlin. You know water has been a problem issue there at least and that can uh, minimize the consumption as well as applicants are reporting about the selection process and saying that they're getting uh, salary and lavish share packages in Grunheide. Welcome back dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel and also ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage about Tesla and electric vehicles and also uh, give us thumbs up. Please like this video if you find the information useful and informative. So our friend Jürgen who is tweeting uh, with the handle GF4 Tesla, 4 is number 4 for GF4 Tesla, tweeted and who has been regularly with other friends from Grünheide providing information, news and updates about the progress at Tesla Giga Berlin factory. Today tweeted something very interesting. First of all, he said this tweet is a conjecture. Well, conjecture is something is an opinion or conclusion which is formed on the basis of incomplete information. So that means that this information that I am reporting based on Jürgen's uh, tweet, which has been very reliable in the past, is a conjecture. That means uh, based on incomplete information. So Jürgen writes this, conjectures. A follower pointed out to me that he has discovered that in the first Giga Press is already inserted a press mold tool. It could go off there for shortly with test casting probably and he has pictures that you are seeing on your screen so this means that the press mold tool is already inserted as you can see from these pictures uh, in giga press by the way i don't like those uh, uh, swords kind of uh, pirate thing there but the press mold tool is already inserted in giga press and this means that the casting may go on uh, very the test casting at giga press may go off very quickly in the next couple of days or weeks we may see the first castings uh, from giga berlin now um, this is the main news about this but you know people are asking interesting questions and making interesting comments some of them i'm going to present here one person says is it just me or is it apparent that uh, Gigafactory Austin is going to be operational before Giga Berlin? The catch-up rate at Gigafactory Austin is astonishing. At the very least, uh, in Austin, the battery factory construction is way ahead. The Giga Press is in initial production. And where is Berlin in this regard? Speaking of battery factory, Tobias Lind report from Gigafactory Berlin yesterday, actually day, two days ago, saying a lot of steel ray bar for the huge foundation is getting ins installed uh, and in the first concrete footing are poured for the warehouse which is going to be the battery factory at Giga Berlin. So the battery factory in Giga Berlin is also uh, speeding up, is uh, catching up uh, pretty quickly as well as the, what's interesting is this uh, molding, press molding uh, inserted there which means the Giga, first Giga casting at Giga Berlin can be happening very quickly. Now to be fair to the Germans, the presses, Giga Presses in Giga Berlin, if you look at the images carefully, look more complete and additional structures built around them than in Giga Factory Texas. First is nice, uh, but quality is most important. So being first in Giga Factory Texas is nice, but you know having a beautiful, nice quality is very important, if not more important. Someone wrote that nobody confirmed the test pieces uh, that showed up a few weeks ago on Twitter. Uh, to this question, you again replied writing, yes, the test parts came to Giga Berlin from Texas. It was confirmed several times. And another question on Twitter was, is Giga Berlin's exhaust pipe chimney for the aluminum furnace connected yet? Another person said he agrees to this and writes, that's what I was also thinking. That might have been partly uh, why they didn't finish roof at first. Uh, the propane tanks have been 
on site for a long time and possibly just exhausted in the open roof area they will need exhaust chimney for second one so a lot of people are asking why is giga berlin now so far behind giga factory austin so this is the question that is in the air but there is another good news from giga berlin you know the thanks new to new technology this new technology should minimize water consumption uh, you know that the water has been a concern for local people People in Grünheide for Giga Berlin, they're concerned that the uh, uh, Giga Berlin factory may use a lot of water, not enough for the phase two, uh, the electric uh, car plant in Giga Berlin in Brandenburg. Uh, now, should not consume more water despite the additional battery factory thanks to a new technology reports their Tagesspiegel. Tagesspiegel says that bump to Tesla's Gigafactory in Germany water consumption is the hot topic. According to Tagesspiegel information, the electric car plant that is the uh, uh, that Tesla is building in Grünheide will consume less water than informational groups fear due to revised Tesla plans. Although the Gigafactory Berlin Brandenburg with a planned annual production of 500,000 Teslas starting with Model Y series will be expanded in the short term to include the largest battery cell factory in the world, uh, announced uh, Elon Musk, the water consumption of the combined Gigafactory should not increase. Some had feared a bad scenario here. Um, as the Tagesspiegel found out, the now completed updated Tesla application in the current main approval process for the first expansion stage of Giga Berlin continues to provide for a maximum annual water consumption of 1.423 million cubic like it's 1.423 million cubic meters for the then combined electric car and battery cell factory as much as before for the electric car plant this new tesla approval application which is now followed by the third public display is set to be submitted to the brandenburg state information environment agency this week so this is a very recent information and according to tiger spiegel information despite the tight schedule, Tesla is firmly on the fact that the first electric vehicles will roll off the assembly line in Giga Berlin in 2021 after the planned start of July did not work. Musk also mentioned that the end of 2021 as a destination on his most recent visit to Germany from Grünheide, the fourth Tesla Gigafactory, the group wants to supply the entire European uh, continent. Despite the battery factory, water consumption still remains the same. 1.4 million cubic meters. This is a good news and this is thanks to new technology, friends. Tesla currently with a higher market value than all German automobiles manufacturers combined is considered the most innovative car company in the world. Now, having said this, we're also learning from business insiders that successful applicants at Giga Berlin report on the selection process, the salary and lavish share packages. I'm going to provide the highlights here, but uh, come back to Torque News YouTube channel in an hour or two and you will have another report. Uh, you will see another report in more details. But the highlights is Tesla is urgently looking for stuff for almost all areas for the factory in for Giga Berlin. Numerous engineers have already submitted their documents to the US car manufacturer Tesla. Philip Caleta from Business Insider spoke to successful Tesla applicants. The salary is below average compared to Volkswagen, Daimler and BMW, but there is a large share package to compensate that. The application process uh, always follows the same pattern. There are four rounds of interviews, each lasting 30 minutes. Enthusiasm for the brand counts more than uh uh, graduation so and, and that uh, is the another important thing but we're also learning that remember there a couple of days ago at giga berlin there was an arson brandenburg economy minister and civil initiative condemned attack on tesla giga berlin you know brandenburg police and an investigation team are looking for those responsible for setting fire to the power lines leading to the tesla giga berlin construction site politicians and local residents even those who criticize tesla's project 
Sergeant strongly condemned this crime, which is a good thing to condemn what is bad. After the alleged burning of electrical cables leading to Tesla's construction site, civil initiatives distanced themselves from the local residents, RBB24 reported. Manu Hoyer of the Grünheide Civic Initiative, which campaigned against Tesla, condemned the incident, saying that such violent measures should not be tolerated and any opposition to the construction should take place within the framework of the law. And he said, I reject violence in order to achieve anything and I am more in favor of acting objectively and legally in a democratic society, she said. So, well, friends, let me know what your thoughts are. You know, it's interesting it's happening at Giga Berlin, specifically that Giga Press, and um, that the first Giga Press is already inserted in the Giga, uh, uh, Giga casting machine, and the press mold tool is there already inserted, which means things can go off there for shortly with Giga Factory Berlin test first test casting happening very soon again this is armin harian from tortnews.com let me know your thoughts and come back uh, to hear more about giga berlin's hiring process and details and please subscribe to our channel like this video if you um, find this information helpful have a great day god bless you and i'll see you soon in our comments god bless you